lock of a door. Ghost of Ashan. I will be RB. Okay. Uh, let's get let's get going. I guess. Um, reminder: uh, there is no um, meeting. Uh, the next meeting will be December the fifteenth, um, because when we're supposed to be having this meeting next time, I'll be on an airplane coming back from San Francisco. So. Um, uh, but let's see, lots of good things happening. Um, the Alex IV viewer, the 64 bit viewer build has been holding up really well in the release candidate channel it's in, uh, better, better than ever. And yes, with flowers in my hair. Um, and, uh, we did have one startup crash. We're not entirely sure. How to trigger it? We've never we see it a lot in the crash browsers. We don't know how to make it happen. We have not produced a repro for it, but we think we found it. So we have a fix. The next update will have that, and then we'll look and see if that crash goes away. Uh, if it does, we'll basically be there. Um, so uh, that we're everybody keep your fingers crossed. We're hoping that that will be. Um, a uh, an update that we will be able to put out uh, right after the Thanksgiving holiday. For those not in the U.S., next week is uh, the latter part of next week is a holiday in the U.S. Um, so early in the week after next, we'll put it out and we'll make sure that it it's yes the benchmark crash yes. Um, so if that goes well, then. Uh, that will probably be promoted to the default viewer early in December. So everybody keep your fingers crossed. Um, Vivox is still working on a race condition, fixing a race condition that they found in the voice viewer. Um, so we'll, we'll hopefully get an update for that and be able to get that one back out when uh, either in parallel with Alex Avi or immediately after it. Um, the maintenance martini viewer got an update, I think, today or yesterday. Um, or maybe it's just passing QA. Anyway, that's, that's getting another spin. Uh, we have, um, an update in the works for the 360 snapshot viewer. Uh, we may be able to, um, actually get that uh, the project viewer updated next week. Uh, we've made great strides in the uh, image quality of the 360 images in that one. Um, they're, they're really much prettier now. Um, we're going to have we're going to have a 32-bit windows build and a 64-bit windows build and we will uh, on Mac, we will have only 64-bit. Um, once we've got that out, we will try again to get uh, a Linux build together. Um, and the goal there is to change the Linux build over to building a Debian package and um, not include all the libraries. You'll just have to get the dependencies the way you would for any other Debian package. Uh, and we'll be looking for help getting that working. Um, and if if we get help, we will, and, and we get it working, then we'll um, continue releasing that. Um, we're not going to be able to put in uh, any more time on it than doing uh, cursory QA. So um, we're going to be relying on the community to contribute fixes. And if the community doesn't, then there won't be one. Um, so let's hope that there are, because... We'd prefer that there was one. Uh, so um, that's that's where Linux will be after Alex Ivy is promoted. Um, we have uh, we're continuing with the Animesh project viewer. The place to worry about that is really the content creators meeting 
on Thursdays. Um, and uh, it's going really well. Uh, there are still issues to be dealt with, but um, it's, it's, it's coming. Uh, and we do have a rendering viewer that's out as a project viewer now. Um, and it's, uh, it's got a bunch of rendering bug fixes in it, um, which are, are hopefully will be good. So, um, but uh, that won't be ready for RC for a little while. Um, so, and a couple of those, I think the render viewer and the snapshot viewer are, uh, are being built on top of Alex Ivy there. They've already gone to the 64-bit build system. Um, so, uh, so that's all of the viewer pipeline. Any questions about that that I might be able to answer? Okay, so that's what we're hoping for. Um, the we had uh, an outstanding question about the resource usage tools um, and getting those contributed. Um, we would love to get something like that going. Um, that would be a great start on a on a good research measurement. And Chalice um, is here to, to discuss that. She'll be in text though. Okay. She's a co-owner of that code. Have you had a chance to look at it? At the code? Yeah. I haven't. I haven't looked at the code. I've I've looked at screenshots of the of the um, functionality of the functionality, and it's. I mean, broadly speaking, it's 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 a good thing. I would love to have, give people more visibility into how things work. Um, it is. Um, I I would prefer not to put information in the in the avatar tags just because I, I think they're already too cluttered and they would be confusing to new users um, but I would love the idea of having having the ability to inspect things and, and see why what what aspects of them are causing problems and um, contributing to the to the weight and that's 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 a great thing and more more information for people who um, uh, want to want to delve into it is is always a good thing um, so uh, we'll definitely be delighted to work on that um, I've, I've I'm sure I've mentioned before we are in the process and it's been kind of a background priority thing it hasn't hasn't been anybody's main job um, hopefully that will change pretty soon but uh, of trying to do um, better quality measurements of what the real rendering impact is for various um, graphical characteristics. So, you know, what is the rendering, what is the real impact on performance caused by a flexi skull twisted torus or whatever. And um, so that we can think about revising um, the formulas for those things so that they're they're a better reflection of the typical rendering impact um, that's that's made very difficult by the fact that number one it's hard to take the measurements um, and number two um, it turns out that some things are cheaper on some video cards than other things and that's it's not always the same things right so some video cards will do one uh, feature very, very efficiently um, and other things relatively expensively, and then a different video card might do exactly the opposite. So we're, we're not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to produce a formula that will be a perfect reflection of every individual's uh, performance. What we'll try to do is something that's reasonably representative of a, of a broad swath um, we will probably not give a huge amount of weight to people who have very low-end graphic systems, right? So if you're using onboard graphics from a system built in 2007, um, we're not going to be paying much attention to those metrics, right? Um, 
So uh, just as um, and I and I should and I should be I should be real clear about this about this point. We've been looking very closely at the crash rates, especially for Alex Ivy lately, because that's been a big focus um, lately. Uh, and they vary even more widely than viewers has, have historically varied over uh, older and newer platforms. So or the sample sizes are too small for me to quote numbers because I don't think the numbers are very um, uh, on on the very low end systems. I don't think the number of users and the number of hours is high enough for the for the measurements to be good enough to quote the absolute crash rates. But um, relatively speaking, uh, the Alex Ivy viewer on Windows 10 64-bit systems that have at least 4 gig of RAM is very substantially less than the current default viewer. Um, whereas the crash rate for uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 32-bit system um, is several times that. Right, it's different by an order of magnitude. Um, so you're going to crash a lot less on a mem on a machine that has a reasonable amount of memory. Um, yeah, they're they're right. They're they're mostly out of memory crashes. Although not all, uh, many of them are driver crashes too, um, and other you know the usual assortment of random crashes that we that we don't seem to be able to track down. But but um, the biggest ones are 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 out of memory crashes by a long by a big margin um, and uh, the the uh, but the the difference between a, a Windows 7 32-bit system or even a Windows 7 64-bit system is very dramatic from Windows 10 and we're going to be focusing most of our effort on the newer systems that's where we're going to be doing most of our testing that's where we're going to be doing most of our uh, all of our development and uh, that's the that is the majority of the systems um, uh, by a large margin. Um, so we're going to pay more attention to that. So if you're running an old version of Windows, um, uh, and and if you're especially if you're running a 32-bit copy of Windows on a machine that could run a 64-bit, which nearly all of them can, um, you should upgrade. You'll have a much better experience. Um, so if you're out there watching this video and I'm describing your box, uh, you know, think hard about, yes, it's, it's not a trivial thing to do the upgrade. You might need to Ask a friend who does these things for, for help, but it will be worth it. Um, I, I don't have, it, it's it's not a huge fraction, um, still running 32-bit OSs. It's, it's more than I'd like it to be. Um, uh, and I don't, but I don't, the, the, the reports I see are, break it down by, by individuals and it, it doesn't give me a subtotal for 32-bit versus, you know, I get Windows 7 32-bit and Windows 8 32-bit and Windows 80.1 32-bit and so forth, but I don't get the, the total. So I don't, and, and besides, the sample sizes I have right now are not very good because um, the most accurate platform detection we have is only in the Alex Ivy viewer. So um, when that becomes, when that gets promoted, I'll have, I'll have big enough uh, fairly soon after that gets promoted, I'll have big enough sample sizes to be able to come up with better estimates of what percentage of the of the of our user base of the user base on our viewer is uh, is running on 32-bit OSs. Uh, I assume that means. Um, the restating the position of Firestorm support for support for Linux. That was sort of a question.
Oh well, I just I just went through that. Um, we we actually do have a 64-bit Linux build uh, in one in the I think it's in the rendering branch. I don't, I don't know whether it works or not. Um, and we will once we've once we've got Alex Ivy out, we'll try to revamp that build structure. Uh, and if we get if we get contributions to make it work, we'll release it. But we're not going to make it work. Uh, let's see. So um, that is most of the news I have. Uh, our uh, I've mentioned in the past that we're we're looking at deprecating some probably all of the UDP inventory manipulation interfaces. Um, that project has been slowed down by the fact that um, some people have been kept busy with other things, but it is still on the roadmap. Um, we will be doing that, any work that's required in the viewer and a public branch pretty soon. And uh, you should be paying attention because some number of months, not a two digit number, after we get that code out there, we will be switching off the the corresponding interfaces on the simulator so that those messages will simply not work anymore. They won't go anywhere useful. Um, so heads up. Um, I, I realize that's sort of a useless heads up right now, but you should put it on the list of things you're going to have to worry about soon. And by the way, we think that that will solve a bunch of problems with inventory reliability, which is why we're doing it. So uh, that's everything I came to say. So the floor is open. I have no, I have no updates. I think Chalice might have a question, though. I see you're typing okay. and then stopping. So. All right. I have a question. So, um, what's the cutoff date for the holidays? Uh, the you mean the um, are you, are no change windows? Yeah. Um, I think in in practice, we're not going to be making any important changes next week. Um, I mean, there will be a couple of minor things going out, but nothing major. Um, nothing that we think is in any way even slightly risky because a lot of people are taking large parts of next week off and we don't want to have to summon them back to help with whatever problem we've caused by shipping something that's a big deal. Um, uh, so, I mean, there will be, there will be rolls next week, I believe, but, um, there's nothing very high risk going out. Um, What's and our last we won't be doing. We won't be doing any in December. What's that? What's the latest oh. that we can do a release in December? Uh, let me look at my calendar here. Maybe I can. I don't, I don't know if we've got an official statement from operations on what they want the no change window to be, but we're shut down from the 22nd through New Year's Day. Um, so at least a few days before that would be, would be really good. Um, okay. Chalice, I think you should just paste what you have. So it's there or you'll just keep getting cut off. DRAM tools we made are all about textures. Textures, good. Uh... 
Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. As a, as a matter of fact, we uh, so I may as well mention this. Um, we've got kind of an experimental branch where we're where, that we haven't been doing publicly, um, primarily because we're not entirely sure we're ever going to do anything with it. We might. It's 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 really an experiment, and we really might just throw it all away. Um, uh, where we've been experimenting with radically reorganizing the texture cache uh, to try to make it much simpler and lower overhead. Um, so far, it hasn't worked, um, but I'm not sure that that's because the changes were bad or, or whether the way we're measuring it is bad. So, um, but we we are sort of playing around with that. Um, we also have not yet. Um, yeah, right. We're among other things storing textures already decoded. Um, uh, so we, I'm, I'm, it's we're we're still we're still working on that, and I don't know I don't know how that's how that's going to come out. I, uh, I would not expect to see anything public with that code until um, uh, probably well into December and possibly even into January. Um, uh, it again, it's it's a, a little bit of a it's not a high priority project. Um, so the people who are doing it are are getting yanked around. Um, so, but we're we're sort of trying trying to see whether we can we can do that more efficiently um, and take advantage of the larger memory space we've got in sixty four bit and so forth. So, um, uh, hopefully that will come out. Well, but yes, we understand that there are all those factors in VRAM. Uh, oh, I need to make my text window bigger, my conversation window bigger for that. Right. So, um, first comment I have about this, and it's all, I, I don't see anything there that I disagree with. Um, yeah, which is, which is, uh, okay, Penny, um, the, uh, um, I, I understand and agree with what you're saying, um, and part of what we're uh, trying to figure out as part of our project to evaluate rendering costs and change the formulas for the costs with them is specifically to try to create better information for users on the real costs of things, including larger textures, um, and also better um, uh, also better incentives in terms of the costs um, so uh, a the, the the land impact of something uh, that has a zillion large textures on it um, will go up um, obviously anytime you think about changing land impact you have to figure out you have to be careful so that you don't accidentally cause um, whole regions to be returned or anything like that. And we will be uh, extraordinarily careful in that regard. Um, uh, but um, they, I mean, we may end up changing the formulas and changing the limits so that at the same time, so that we're confident we'll stay under the limits, but uh, for anything that's under them now. Uh, but we want to see if we can adjust the, the, the incentives to to incentivize better content. Um, yeah, the the ten twenty four baking service, uh, which is getting lots of attention right now and should be rolling to the main grid soon, um, but not during Thanksgiving holiday. 
uh, is um, is kind of a step on the way to supporting textures, um, system textures, baked textures on mesh faces, um, so that uh, we can, and, and because people build really large things and very detailed things like the lovely spider over here, um, having higher res textures for them would be a good thing. So uh, it's not that we want to sort of limit everybody to small things. It's just that we want to provide better information and better incentives for better quality content. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm concerned about witch hunts too, but um, I'm, I'm also realistic well, it, about whether or not they can be avoided. It'll inevitably, inevitably it will happen. Uh, mm -hmm. It always does. It happened with Jelly Dolls. It happened with uh, when Firestorm put script count into the viewer, the ability to check people's script counts. But it, it's, I think, I, I think I consider it growing pains because as a result of these things, content creators have been more aware um, of their content. Gone are the days of 256 scripts in a, in a hair, for example, mostly. Uh, that is, that, that is certainly our hope that that, that will be true. And uh, you know we're okay. trying to we're trying to find ways to make things um, visible and and give people controls over them that allow them to make good choices about content, both creators and consumers. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, particles. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things I haven't done yet. Um, Yeah, well, that 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 sounds really interesting, Chalice. I, I mean, uh, as I said, not the bit about putting information in tags, uh, but the other things, um, very much so. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Right. Yeah, I can well I can well believe that it, it makes a big difference. Um, so, Penny, you had a question.
gibt Sarge? Geht wohl noch schon da? I think that somehow incentivizing optimized content would likely be the best choice, but... Um, Penny, do you happen to have? Uh, oh, uh, you do. There it is. I'm just my conversation window is scrolling pretty faster. Um, Let me see, what do we do with this? Um, yeah, uh, Penny, we put that on the list of interesting inputs to to giving people good controls, whether or not we'll do it in exactly that same, that way is, is uh, we really haven't even started thinking about it, to be, to be honest. There, there, um, that's, that level of problem just isn't on the short-term agenda right now. Um, it, it's not that we've forgotten about it. We have deliberately put it in a place where, um, when we get around to, um, doing a round of development in that direction, we'll, We'll see it again, and we'll we'll try to factor it into our thinking. But it, it's the sort of thing that we we often will accept an issue not because it's necessarily proposing a good solution, but because it does a very good job discussing a problem. And this issue, this the, your suggestion, definitely um, uh, met that latter criteria. I'm, I'm not saying that your solution was a bad one. I, I I haven't thought about it deeply enough to have an opinion about that yet. But it did do a good job describing a problem, and it's very often the case that we will accept an issue um, simply because it has a good description of a problem, um, and then we'll we'll try to factor that into our thinking about what the what the solution space is. One of the things we're always looking for is ways to do a change that addresses multiple problems, or a change that addresses a wide range of problems, um, and uh, Having good problem statements and good expositions of of possible approaches um, is is all grist for the mill. Um, so that's that's definitely what we did when we imported that that issue. Um, but uh, it is it would not be it would not be fair to of me to imply that we're actually working on any part of that right now or not. Um, and I've gotten pretty far behind on this scroll here, so. Kitty, I, your comment about meshes, I'm afraid I don't know what you're referring to. I don't understand the question. Um, so if you could send me an email with a detailed, specific question, maybe I'll be able to find somebody who can help.
Uh, oh, rend the, the render mod factor defaults. Um, well, we've we've had a long-standing uh, ag agreement to disagree on this, and um, that's uh, I don't know what to say about it. Um, I have been I have been uh, I I am not even slightly a, a, a graphics or rendering expert, as I've said many times, um, and so I go to people who are, and I say. What's the right answer? And when they tell me, I believe them, and we make decisions based on what they tell us. And what they tell us is that having a high render volume LOD factor is a spectacularly bad idea and bad for Second Life, and so we don't do it. Um, I can't keep you from making your default different, or and I can't certainly can't keep users from fiddling with the defaults. Uh, uh, it's a bad idea, and you shouldn't do it. You're encouraging bad content when you do it. There's quite a lot of abuse with LODs as well in right. regards to uh, optimization. And, and in, in fact, that whole subject is something that is very... Uh, very, very much a part of our discussions on how to change um, cost accounting. Um, and we, if, if we can figure out a way to do it, we will try to penalize people for doing bad low-level models, uh, bad, bad models that don't have low-lod models that are, that are representative and that, and, and that don't, you know, that are, that are basically built for set your render LOD factor to some outrageously high number, and that's the only way they look good. If we can figure out a way to penalize that, we will. So I don't know whether we'll be able to figure that out or not. I, I have no opinion on that yet. Uh, well, you know, I try not to get out the shared experience ban hammer too often. Um, that's a, it's a, it's ultimately, it's a user control, and even in our viewer, you can fiddle with it. Um, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, there's not much we can do about it, really. Um, Yeah, that's I, I understand that, Worley, and that's why we're going to change the formula so that it doesn't save land impact. Oh, yes, things that dissolve as soon as you walk about five meters away from them are my favorite. Right, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, like I said, we're going to be we're going to be looking at a lot of these issues um, much more intensively pretty soon. There are a couple things that need to get finished up before we can really, including Animesh, before we can get a lot of focus on it. But uh, we will be doing a lot of focus on it, and we will be trying to make things a little bit better and change some of the incentives. Penny, you expect them to read? <laughs> uh, yeah, getting getting people to read documentation, no matter how good it is, seems to be a challenge. Uh, but Penny, I would be more than happy to have um, better explanations written that uh, that I could put on the websites. Um, I mean, I won't evaluate whether they're right or wrong, but I. I will hand that to people who will, and if they're if they're better, I will be delighted to have them. I'm I I will be the last person to claim that our documentation is all as clear and complete as it should be.
I found that generally when there's some sort of standardized documentation to refer to, people are are more apt to consider it, especially if it's official. But you could, for instance, show an example of something optimized and something not optimized and make educated comparisons. Right. Yes. I, I um, definitely think that's a great idea. And and one of the things I would like to do is get, uh, you know, um, more uh, more stuff from the from the good content that the moles produce that uh, that's more readily available as reference material for people. So. Mm -hmm. Right, you're right, Trinity, and that's um, high on the list of my goals for changes to the LI formula. Juicy Ramufla Pustachi. Storm me, friendly shawnies.
Um, this is this is all good discussion. Um, I it, it is none of it is news, and and we're working on all of it. Um, but I can't offer as usual. I can't offer any timelines for when when any given effect of any of this will will happen. Yeah, it's been on the hit list for a long time. I had to leave to get a snack myself. All this talk of sweets. <laughs> Any other topics? Questions? Vernon Short, yes. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a bad aspiration to have a standard of scale, especially when it's all built into the viewer really, the meters and such. I don't think that will ever be. Oh no, it, it no, will never be. Clarify. It's been way too long. It's been way too long. Yeah. Age old debate. We, we shall aspire, nonetheless.
Juki, the Mufa, Kusachi. Actually, I think that has to do with whoever's creating the animations, the uh, where they're situated. I think that's Oz's dog saying it's time to end the meeting. That's probably it. Could be. <laughs> Not at all. That's that sounds like the it, there's somebody out on the street noise. Okay, everybody. Uh, I think we've run out of time. Um, Oz, you want Chalice to file a Jira with you for that contribution? Uh, that'd be great. Yes. Okay, thank you guys. I'm afraid I can't stay, Ed. Uh, I've got to pull my computer apart. In fact, I was just about to turn it off when Whirly sent me a message and said, Jess, they're part of your meeting, don't forget. Uh, what are you tearing it apart for this time? I'm Sounds like a job. crazy. Yeah, it's a big job. You what? I'm overheating. Oh. Probably full of dust. Yeah. Well. Thank you all. All right, have a good weekend. It was Thanks. nice seeing everyone. Thanks, Oz. All right. Yeah, catch her. Get it cleaned out. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll be, you can reach me on Skype anyway. Do you, do you, need, do you have uh, anything in the HUD yet to do? No, help a meeting tomorrow. Amalia will have a list uh, probably tonight. So. What time's the meeting? Uh, I believe tomorrow is... It's at 11. 11 so. Yeah. Chalice, 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 chalice. Oh my god, I missed you. <laughs>